away and running to a nice even start. Fatty King pings first, showing speed is Wesley Thomas, and on the inside is Prince Fred, headed by Copper Tax, and Double Sod of Courage is very wide, but only four lengths down from the leading role, which is held by Fatty King. Leads the opening furlong by an authoritative two lengths. Wesley Thomas is in stock mode in second, and Copper Tax is three paths off the rail. Prince Fred continues to take the shortest way and advances into second, and looms an ominous presence now. Five sixteenths to go, where Batty King continues to show the way. Prince Fred is right there, trying to close in, and Copper Tax is wide, but also closing in. Wesley Thomas is in fourth. Double Shot of Courage has always been last. They swing in. Batty King has not been headed and starts to flee the scene with a three-length lead. Copper Tax is holding second. Prince Fred loomed and flattened out, but at the sixteenth pole, Batty Batty King still has a sizable lead. Copper Tax is running huge. Time's ticking away, and Batty King has won it. Copper Tax was second, and Prince Fred finished third. Away and running to a nice even start. Taco Bean is the first one to break the line. Classy Solution is right there too, and so is Underdog and Brighthorn. And Kirby won't let the other four males go away, and they are only three quarters of a length from tip to tail as they flash past the four for long peg. Brighthorn taking full advantage of that rail draw, but there goes Taco Bean deep on the course, and Underdog is right there in the thick of it, too. Classy Solution was stymied for a run, and Kirby teams up with that one. Two lengths would cover tip to tail at the 5 sixteenths, where Taco Bell is the first one to spin him in and has kicked away to a one-length lead. Brighthorn will try to counter in second. Underdog's in between rivals. Classy Solution is very wide. Kirby's dropped the last. They swing in, and there's four chances here. Up the rail comes Brighthorn to put that nose in front. Taco Bean tries to counter. Underdog is laboring in third. They're passing the 16th pole, and pulling away is Brighthorn in the concluding stages. Brighthorn has won it. Taco Bean was second. Third was close between under. Away and running. Pastor's Doro left pretty sharp. So did Tacky Lady up the inside, and they've already have a one length cushion over Romantic Comedy on the outside, who now lands third. More than a storm came away in fourth in front of Hold Me Closer, and Party Monster is last of all. A circuit of the track to go, and Tacky Lady's a leader, but is tracked intently by Astor's Doro, who's one path off the rail. Romantic Comedy went a little wide around the turn and now starts to save some ground six furlongs out from the winning line. There's a gap of three back to more than a storm with Hold Me Closer second last, and Party Monster has to come with a monumental close. Leaving the first turn behind, Tacky Lady plays Catch Me If You Can, but at one 
one to nine. Astros Doro is right there, just eyeballing her every single move. There's a gap of two back to romantic comedy, who's traveling sweetly if good enough, and more than a storm's in fourth. Hold me closer, gets a bit closer in that fifth place position, and Party Munster has to call an Uber from there. Around the turn they go. Tacky Lady continues to lead the charge, but Astros the Ordo's ready to play her hand. There's a gap of two back to romantic comedy, more than a storm. Hold me closer, and then the trailer is Party Monster at the quarter pole. There goes Astros Doro, hasn't been asked yet, puts a nose in front. Tacky Lady's running a tough race today. They swing into the stretch, and Astros Doro takes a look back, and now kicks away from the competition. Tacky Lady's holding on to second, trying to hold third is Romantic Comedy, with Hold Me Closer up the inside, and Party Monster's rolling late, but there's no doubt about the winner. Astros Doro wins like a 1-9 favorite should over tacky lady party Way and running. She's fireball was slow to go. Speed from Amorica on the outside. There goes Catalina Cruzin. And Rapid Ruby now takes the leading role. So Rapid Ruby is the leader. Chased by just the thing in second. And just say protects rail position. Catalina Cruzin is a hustled fourth. Amorica's deep on the course. And G's fireball was slow to go around the one and only turn. Rapid Ruby is rapid out of the gate and shows the way by a length. Just the thing is stalking every single step of the way. And Catalina Cruzin rides that rail. G's fireball is deep on the track, and they pass the quarter pole. Rapid Ruby continues the lead, but here comes Catalina Cruzin. And Catalina Cruzin cruises up to Rapid Ruby, and these two to settle the score. They're homeward bound now, and Rapid Ruby gets a pop of the crop and leads three quarters of a length. Catalina Cruzin trying hard in second. G's fireball's in third. At two to one, just the thing is off the board, and Catalina Cruzin surges to the top. Catalina Cruzin has won it over Rapid Ruby, G's Fireball, and Amorica. and running. Chalk Hill was slow to go, but our Avery Lynn, the first one in, and the first one away. Tumari is also adding fuel to the fire, and right behind them is Sneaky Cheeky, deep on the course as if I had a chance, in front of three rivals early, including Izzy Bella, who's deep on the course. Second last is Miss Dillingham, and Chalk Hill was slow to go. Leaving the six and a half for a long point, and our Avery Lynn is the speed today, and she struts her stuff to a one and three quarter of a length lead. If I had a 
a chance as a settled second, and there's another gap of two back to a rail-scraping Sneaky Cheeky. On the inside of Izzy Bellin, they team up to share third with five furlongs left to go. A gap of three back to Two Marie, who's all by herself. Miss Dillingham tacks onto her now, and Chalk Hill is last of all. They go down to the four furlong peg, and our Avery Lynn has been unopposed, still nice and relaxed. The lead's only a length. If I had a chance, is ready to take a crack at her. Izzy Bella's on the same page. Sneaky Cheeky rides that rail to no avail while Miss Dillingham tries to close in, and Chalk Hill is last with Two Marie. Around the bend at the 5 16th pole, R. Avery Lynn continues to control things all their own way, but Izzy Bella is poised to take that rival on. If I had a chance as a distant third, Sneaky Cheeky not responding, and they're homeward bound now, and R. Avery Lynn lets it out a notch and kicks away to an authoritative two length lead. Izzy Bella is right there, floundering in second. On the far outside, Miss Dillingham is closing in to get a board placement, but at the 16th pole, R. Avery Lynn popped and didn't stop today in the J.J. Gracie Memorial Race. R. Avery Lynn has won it over Izzy Bella if I had a chance. And then came Sneaky Cheeky. They're all in line. Away and running. Slow to go is cup match, but a brilliant reaction from the stalls as Little Henry breaks right on cue. My Big Drama came away in second, and City Creek rides that rail. Nature of the Beast has one beaten, and cup match had a lackluster start. Four and a half furlongs to go, and the pace tug of war is on between Little Henry and My Big Drama, and they lurk towards the four furlong peg with Little Henry with that blue blinkers in front. My Big Drama stays at the rail in second, and City Creek's two lengths off the speed in third. Cup match has one beaten, and Nature of the Beast is last of all. Around the turn they go inside the three, and here comes City Creek in the light blue cap in the three path, and Cup Match also wants a piece of the action. Little Henry tries to fight off that attack. My Big Drama dropped away, and Nature of the Beast is dropped to the tail of the field with a quarter to go. City Creek comes calling for the lead. Little Henry battling on resolutely. Deep on the track is Cup Match, and they're into the stretch. City Creek had first run and has a neck in front. Little Henry is fighting on with everything he has. Inside the final furlong, City Creek pads that lead, and Danny Centeno just won his third in a row. The favorite's home. City Creek is first over Little Little Henry, Cup Match, My Big Drama,
away and running. Ducking out of the start was Kilimanjaro, but still my bay puts the pedal to the metal early on. Jubilee Bridge is right there in a position to challenge, and Stir Crazy is going to caught three wide at the six and a half for Long Peg. Starry Hope watches this three-pronged battle up front. Second last, there are no rules, and Kilimanjaro is last of all. Up and around the first turn they go. Still my babes, the leader, and that leads three quarters of a measured length. Jubilee Bridge with the money on is under a tight hold as Danny Centeno looks to go four for four in today's card, and Stir Crazy is pointed off the inside in a paceless affair, and Starry Hope's a ground-saving fourth. There are no rules, continues to be in front of one, and Kelly Manjar is last of all. There's been no twist yet, to the plot, that is, and there's four furlongs out. Still, my babe continues to show the way, three quarters of a length. Jubilee Bridge right there, getting a wee bit closer with three furlongs to go. Stir Crazy gets a couple of reminders to stay on the speed. Starry Hope's coming alive, taking the trail up the rail. There are no rules, is trying to tack on that one, and Kelly Manjar is the distant. They're off the turn, and they race for home. Still, my my babe unleashes the brakes now and has a one length lead. Jubilee Bridge is trying to get a wee bit closer. These two are nip and tuck. It's still my babe holding on by a nose, but these are desperate moments now. And Jubilee Bridge storms to the top. There are no rules trying to complete the exacta, but Jubilee Bridge has won it. Over there are no rules. Away and running. Good speed from the center from Lady Lancer today. Also right there is You're the One. Never free and choose love fires out too. Honey Camp protects the rail and Adriana Valentina now emerges to take that fifth place position. Best worst idea is second last and that relegates choose love to the back of the pack. But it's a four pronged attack and from the inside out Honey Camp leads the charge. Lady Lancer is off the fence. You're the one three deep and never free is committed to a four wide kick. Best worst idea watching this all in full with three furlongs to go. Adriana Valentina is wide and out of trouble and and Choose Love has dropped the seventh and last. Throw multiple chances here as that quarter pull passes. Honey Camp continues to lead the other six ladies in pursuit. Homeward bound now. Honey Camp has a one length lead to hold. Still chasing as you're the one. And Lady Lancer's in between rivals on the wide outside. Best worst idea. But you're the one now. Kicks for the money inside the final sixteenth of a mile. Patting that lead too. Honey Camp battles best worst idea. Lady Lancer for the balance. You're or the one wins well. Honey Camp held second, best worst idea third, and Lady Lancer finished fourth. Thank you.